Huh? Double trouble. All right. So before we start the charts, a couple reminders. Okay. Um, first of all, it's highly irregular. Highly, highly irregular. Right? By definition, what is it? Algebra. Here we go. Okay. Now, why can I not just drop it out here? Because you drop it. Because I drop it and there's nothing left. I can't just drop the E because there's nothing left. So I'm basically starting fresh. How would I say I go? Boy. Boy, you go. Boss, he or she goes. Va, we go. Vamos. Vamos, and they go. Va. Now, that's what we're using here, but there's more to it to the sentence. I can't just say tu, vas, and be done. When I'm building my sentence with ir, I need ir immediately followed by what? Either al or a la, and then I finish with what? What word? The what's what's at, what's at the end of all these? No, the verbs at the beginning. The location. Now. How do I know if I'm using al or a la? Al is masculine, a la is feminine, but they pertain to what? Masculine or feminine of eat or masculine or feminine of the location? The location. The location. I don't care who's going. It's where we're going that matters, right? So if we look at the first one, let's talk through it. How many people is two? One. one. Don't need that. Am I two? No. No, am I talking to you? Yes. Yes, so it's? Vas. Vas. If we're going to Espanol, Based on Espanol, masculine or feminine? Masculine. masculine. So what goes in between? Oh. Um, um. Do we know the gender of two? No. no. Does it matter? No. no. This could be whoever. It's all because it goes with the location. So that's why we put this and set in parentheses together. These go together. This is totally independent of the rest of the sentence. Right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. Making sense? Good. Did we stop there?